welcome to vishesh educational videos in this video i am explaining about uh, software pricing software pricing means uh, what are the factors that are going to affect when you want to fix a price for your software simply you can't uh, fix a price for a software right you have to consider some factors because when i develop a software i need to make a profit right without profit uh, nobody wants to develop a software right so how to a uh, fix a price for a software on what basis you are going to do that right uh, those things i am going to discuss in this video right if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel to get the notification of my new videos please click the bell icon and please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends so let me begin the explanation of software pricing in principle the price of a software product to a customer is simply the cost of development plus profit for the developer in simple words when you want to fix a price for a software you have to consider what is the development cost right you have spent to develop your software not only the development cost you have to consider along with that you have to consider your profit also so when you consider both the development cost and the profit you can fix the actual price for your software getting guys so what is the amount you spent for the development of your software plus the profit what is the profit you want to gain from that particular software development so you have to consider both then your total price will be the development cost plus profit right not only that uh, while uh, fixing the price of the software some other factors will also influence what are those factors for example risks you have to consider the risks also while uh, uh, while uh, fixing the price of the software right you have to consider the risks associated with the project and also the type of contract uh, you have made right the type of contact contract your company has made with the customer those contract will also play a huge role for fixing the price along with that some other factors will also affect the pricing of a particular software now we will see what are those factors right so first factor that is going to affect the pricing of your software is the market opportunity so a development company may quote a low price right uh, because it wishes to move into a new segment of the software market for example assume that uh, your company is a new one your company is new to the software industry uh, then your new company what it will do means uh it will always try to quote a very low price for your software right why means so it is a marketing strategy so first they will accept a low profit on the project right by accepting the low profit on the project it may give the organization that means the company the opportunity to make a greater profit later so they are new to the industry that's why they are quoting a very low price for your software right once they become familiar once they gain the experience with the industry they can earn the more uh, greater profits later this is the marketing strategy right so the, if you are new to the software industry right the first thing what you have to do means uh, try to put the price very less once right once you are big, uh, once you are familiar with the software industry then uh, you can uh, gain the more profits this is the marketing strategy you have to apply if you are new to the software industry and also the experience gained may also help to develop the new products right whatever the experience you gained earlier you can use that experience to develop your new products also not only the market opportunity 
the other factor that is going to affect the pricing of your software is cost estimate uncertainty what is the meaning of that for example so if a company is unsure of its cost estimate company is not sure about uh, the cost that is going to be spent on a particular product software product what it is going to do if you are unsure about your uh, expenditure a company may increase the price right a company may increase the price of the software above its normal profit what is the meaning of that assume that so i am developing a software my expenditure for to develop the software is 1 lakh so and the normal profit i am going to put normal profit i am going to put for that uh, software will be 50000 so total price for that software will be 1 lakh 50000 but i am not sure assume that i am not sure that 1 lakh will be enough to develop the software i am not sure uh, it's just a rough estimation i am not sure then instead of putting the 50000 that is normal profit what i will do means i will add some extra 50000 that means instead of 1 lakh 50000 i will put the price as 2 lakhs right because i am not sure my cost development cost may increase from 1 lakh to more than 1 lakh can also be possibility that's why what i have to do if you are unsure about your development cost instead of uh, taking the normal profit you can increase the profit margin that is above the normal profit then even if the cost your uh, estimated cost exceeds also no problem you are putting a, a extra profit right so right that can make up with your extra cost because you are gaining the extra profit even if the development cost exceeds your uh, limit no problem right so when you are unsure about your cost estimate you have to put the greater more profit than your normal profit you have to quote the price more right so next uh, feature factor that is going to affect the software pricing is contractual terms that means what type of contract that is the, there between the company and the customer that contract type is also going to affect the uh, software pricing for example see here if a customer uh, is uh, may be willing to allow the developer to retain the ownership of the source code right for example a customer is not uh, willing to uh, assume that he is not uh, willing to take the ownership of the source code right then the price whatever the price you are going to charge to your software will be less because customer is not uh, using the source code C customer is not the owner of the source code here customer is not willing to be the owner of the source code customer wants to give the source code to the company itself thereby company can use that code for the next projects so obviously it is a advantage for the company because uh, source code will be there with the company only not with the customer then the company will be will uh, reduce the price definitely they will reduce the price because the code will be the uh, code will be available with them only it will be in the company only that's why they will reduce the price otherwise if a software source code is handed over to the customer if a source code is a uh, is a, with the customer then the price may increase the price of the software may increase because the source code is not with the company they can't reuse that to the new projects that's why obviously they will charge more for the customer because the source code is with the customer that's why if it's with them they won't charge more because the source code will be there with the company but if the source code of your project is with your uh, customer right uh, sorry if the source code of the project is with the company then they won't charge more hope you are understanding guys right next factor that is that may affect the software pricing is requirements volatility requirements volatility means 
if a company is sure that the requirements of a particular software is going to change what strategy they can apply means so they can take the contract of the particular software by bidding the very by bidding a very low price then the customer what it will uh, what he will do customer will give the project to the that company only because uh, uh, it is quoting a very low price for developing the software but if they are sure the requirements are going to change what they will do means when the changes to the requirements are necessary when the customer asks for the changes to the uh, requirements they will charge more amount for the requirement changes this is one strategy depends on that also the pricing will be affected why they will do like this why they will do like this means they need the contract to get the contract a company may quote very the quote the low price but after getting the contract they can charge large amount of money for the changes that is needed by the customer to that particular software if more changes are there the software price may increase so thereby right uh, the requirements uh, changes will affect the pricing of the software hope you are understanding guys suppose if you have any doubts you can post your doubt in the comment section right and the last factor that is going to affect the software pricing is financial health that means the financial status of the company also uh, affects the pricing of the software right how you can ask a question how sir how the financial status affects the pricing of the software how means developers in financial difficulty that means the company whose financial condition is not that good what they will do definitely they need the project now because they are in the financial difficulty that's why they may quote the very low price to gain the contract because for them now it is better to make a smaller profit than the normal profit why 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 means now for them they need money they need the cash flow cash flow is more important than profit in difficult times because to right to run the company they need the cash flow that's why they don't concentrate more on the profit now just they, they want to improve their cash flow that's why to improve their cash flow they may uh, right they may quote very low price to get the software and they will develop that software right so cash uh, yes profit will be generated it will be very less anyway anyway cash flow will be there you can run your company so this is the strategy when you are uh, in a difficult financial status you can do like this right it will financial status also affects the pricing of the software see if financial status is not good the software price will be very less but if a financial state uh, financial status uh, is good they may increase the software price so in in this way the so many factors will affect the pricing of the software so hope you understood the concepts guys if you don't understand the concepts no worries you can post your doubt in the comment section thank you thank you very much for watching the video